Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. So we're very close to the release of the first beta of iOS 16 and we have a lot of information currently regarding the new features and the changes that are coming and of course we might expect to come to iOS 16 even though we didn't have any information whatsoever until the last couple of weeks we now have quite a lot of things that we know that are coming to iOS 16 in this video we're going to talk more about those and we have something in specific that has been requested for a lot of time from a lot of iOS users and it looks like finally might come to iOS now, first of all, we're talking about the new updates that have been reported by Mark Grumman that are coming to iOS 16, and we had an information that there will be updates on the health app. Now we know even more about that. So there are three different features that are coming to the health app with iOS 16. And one of those which is really, really interesting, and I believe it will be very useful for a lot of people, is medicine man management. So you can manage your medicines, probably even get notifications when you need to take them and things like that. All of those on the new health app that is coming to iOS 16. There will be also expanded sleep tracking features with the health app on iOS 16. And also there will be a new woman's health feature integrated into the health app on iOS 16. We have the report that our there are a lot of features coming to iOS 16 on the health app and it looks like those are three of the main features that you can expect to see on the health app on iOS 16. Of course, the health app will be one of the apps that will be updated with quite a lot of new features on iOS 16. Of course, one of the stock apps of iOS. I would expect also the camera app to have a lot of updates with iOS 16. This is one of the apps that is more complicated to use even with the new features that Apple has added on the iPhone 13. There are a lot of things here that are not just clear for a lot of people so I would expect this to be updated a lot with iOS 16. Also the calculator app may be adding history and things like that to the calculator app. This also has been the same, the exact same app since the release of course of iOS. Hopefully they will be updated and you will also expect to see new features with a music app and also a new separated music app for Apple Classical. You will expect that to happen with iOS 16. So as I said, the report from Mark Grumman gave us a glimpse into iOS 16 and what can we expect from this update. So there will be no major redesign, unfortunately, this year as well. Maybe we will have new icons that will just look the same as the macOS icons with a 3D look, but no major redesign. Although he said that there will be major enhancement across iOS. So that's really exciting. And of course, redesign notifications as well. But there is a really interesting feature that we have seen on 9 to 5 Mac. So that feature is always on display. This is a feature we have been asking for a lot of time now to have on iOS but didn't get it until now. And it looks like we might see this on iOS 16. Again, these are just rumors. Nothing is confirmed here. We might see an always on display on iOS 16. But of course, there will be some things you need to consider. First of all, the worst scenario is that Apple will only release that feature on iOS 16 for the newer iPhones that will come out in September, the iPhone 14 and of course the 14 Pro or Apple will just release that for the OLED iPhone. So only the iPhones that have an OLED display might will support that. I truly believe that if Apple goes ahead and releases the always on display feature, there will be no support for other devices. Just the OLED display devices will have this feature. And this is right here for and from Angela Libero. This is a concept of what an always on display might look like on iOS, you can see it's pretty cool. This right here I think is really interesting. You will see the icons of your apps, of course, with the notifications as well. And of course, the time and the current date. You can also have widgets right here, which look really, really cool. So expect Apple, if they do add this feature, to do something like this with the always on display on iOS 16. Again, this is from 9 to 5 Mac. Nothing has been confirmed until now, but we will have to wait and see if Apple will add this feature, which all of us have been asking for a long time. 
So of course these are the rumored features, more details on them and of course something that we can expect but what I would expect from Apple to do with iOS 16 is actually as Mark Grumman said there will be enhancements, I expect them to enhance the current features of iOS like the home screen widgets, hopefully they will change. Maybe redesign some of those, add more functionalities and of course interactive. So if you don't have interactive widgets on the home screen, there's like no point to having them at all. So this right here, this battery widget, you can tap on it all day, doesn't do anything. Why not just go actually tap right there and turn on low power mode or something like that. That would be really, really interesting. What I would expect Apple to do is also add some more features or just enhance the app library that is current on iOS 15. So this is of course from iOS 14 to iOS 15, the exact same, nothing has changed here at all. You cannot actually do much with it. You cannot rearrange or sort your apps or do anything like that. Hopefully this will be a feature, one of the actually the features that will be enhanced with iOS 16. And you can of course ex expect also a redesigned lock screen on iOS 16 as well. That was actually quite a huge, huge rumor back when iOS 15 was about to be released on its first beta, but it actually never happened. Apple never just updated the lock screen, it's still the same. And something else that I would expect Apple to do on iOS 16, which is very possible, is a new redesigned control center. That might happen as well. The redesigned control center has also been a rumor that was quite big back with iOS 15, but it looks like Apple just pushed a lot of new features from iOS 15 to iOS 16, and we might also see now a new redesigned control center with iOS 16, hopefully that happens as well. So as you probably know, iOS 16 is coming out on its first beta on June, actually it will be June 6th at WWDC 2022. Apple has announced WWDC 2022, and of course they will be holding their event, the first one of course at the start of the WWDC 2022, which will be Monday, June 6th, at around 10 a.m. it starts 10 a.m. Pacific time and of course basically after the event we will be able to see iOS 16 and install it on our devices of course if you're a dev if you're a public tester then you will have to wait for three or four weeks or more before Apple releases the public beta of iOS 16 and then of course on September we will get it for the public so that's basically it for this video guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one